including my frosted flakes, they bring out the tiger in you. Good, you'll need it. Good, they're good. You'll show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. The taste of Tony's frosted flakes. Wow. We've got the tiger in you. It's blood-curdling, spine-tingling, bone-chilling. It's Ghost Monster Iron-Ons. Ah! And one's free in Kellogg's frosted flakes. The creators of an American tale invite you to spend the holidays with Spike, Sarah, <laughs> Petrie, <laughs> Ducky, yep, yep, yep. and Littlefoot as they share the world's first adventure, an adventure in the land of the dinosaurs. Do not stop! We must stay together! George Lucas and Steven Spielberg present a Don Bluth film, The Land Before Time, rated G. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. His knack is sack, the Lego maniac. He builds in the window, it's off the wall. He builds them big, he builds them small. In Lego land, he'll rock and roll. He's Lego wild out of control. Sack, sack. He's a Lego maniac. Sack, sack. Lego land, King's Castle, Airport, Cosmic Fleet Voyager, sold separately from Lego Systems. And now back to Mother Baby.
Gonzo? Is that you? Hi, Nanny. What are you doing in the kitchen? Me? Uh, I just, um, I just came to help you put the groceries away, Nanny. That's very thoughtful of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm late getting your lunch ready. You kids must be starving. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe we need a snack, Nanny. I don't like to give you kids cookies before lunch, but it's all I've got to tide you over. Now you give the others one cookie each, Gonzo, and tell them I'll have lunch ready as soon as I can. Oh, you can count on me, Nanny. Wait a minute. Why should I give them any of these cookies? After all, they didn't care enough about me to look at my super trike. What are you doing? Who, me? Yes, you. You know better than that. But I put that cookie down this minute. Now, march into that nursery and share them with your friends. Hold it right there, buddy. Delivery boy gets here soon. 
starving. Ooh, sounds like someone eating. Win that burger. Just follow the arrows, and what'll he win, Bertie? A McDonald's chicken 
Catches up with my inside, I'll have long since outgrown you. And you'll be history. Milk, it does a body good. Saturday Rocks! Oh, yeah! On CBS. Stay tuned for Pee Wee Playhouse, followed by Garfield and Friends. And now back to Mother Baby. <laughs> oh, no. very much. It's kind of, uh, you know, different. Go on, Kermit. Anything's better than listening to my stomach. Um, okay. What are you doing, Kermit? Hop on! My train is part of the dream. I told you it was weird.
reached the weird part yet, Fozzie. Hold on to your seats. Hey, what happened to the train? You haven't seen anything yet. What do you mean, Kermit? Yay! We're going into orbit. Rocket train. <laughs> Fettuccine a la Choo Choo, my favorite. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Did you see that? This fun. Talk about your weird dreams. Do you see what I see? All aboard for Venus, Mars, and Hollywood. Hollywood? Weird. Yeah, which end is his head? Whatever you do, Fuzzy, don't tell any jokes. Gosh, where do you think we'll go first? Venus, Mars, or the supermarket? Next up, Hollywood! Here, yeah, everybody wants to go to Hollywood. Anyone who wants to get out of this dream better do it now. Oh, Kermy, it wasn't such a bad train ride. Yeah, I thought it was going to get much worse. It is, Fozzie. It is? Huh? What? Oh, no! Who are you? One of Jake's the name, and I'm the meanest outlaw in the West. Gee! How mean are you? Well, I'm so mean I can scare the skin off a buffalo. Nobody's that what? mean. Oh, yeah? What's this? Hey, you! Boo! Boy, he is mean. He's the part of my dream I was afraid to tell you about. You were right, Kermit. You never should have told us this dream. All right, reach for the sky. Don't hurt us. We'll give you all our valuables. Hey, I don't want your valuables. Well, what do you want? Cookies! <gasps> cookies? Oh, boy. Here, here, the strong box is filled with cookies. All right, open it. Uh, sure. <laughs> um... Oh, no! It's empty! Oh, hold that on me, are you? You'll be sorry you ever messed around with one-eyed Jake. Either you give me them there cookies, or I'll steer this train right off the tracks into Deep Canyon. Wait a minute. We didn't take the cookies. Honest. Yeah, there must be some mistake. Oh, dear. If only somebody had some cookies. Stop! Don't hurt them. I've got some cookies. <gasps> what? what? Gonzo, you've had a box of cookies all this time? And you didn't share them with... What? That's why he's been acting so weird. He's been eating cookies all day. It's true. It's true. I'm nothing but a cookie munching fake. I'm sorry. Okay, pal. If you want to save your friends, hand over them cookies. Ah. Uh, here. What's this? Oh, no! I must have eaten them all! Oh, no! Too bad, kitties, because now you're going to pay for it. This is awful! My best friends are going to get it because of my selfishness. I've got to make up for it somehow. Hey! I'll take care of him later. the west comes the mysterious masked rider with the blazing nose. The lone weirdo. Huh? The lone weirdo? If you want them, you'll have to deal with me first. Twenty years 
in jail or, or 20 jokes from Fozzie. Yeah! Well, I really... Who was that masked weirdo? We don't hate you. It took a lot of courage to admit what you did. Yeah, and you saved us from that awful one-eyed Jake. Gosh, you guys are great friends. Sorry I'm late with lunch, kids. I got so busy with shopping, I just couldn't get it ready any faster. I hope those cookies Gonzo brought you helped a little. Um, well, uh, they sure did, Annie. Thanks. And for being so nice, Gonzo, I made your favorite sandwich. Peanut butter and bananas. Ah, uh, thanks, Mammy. Oh, my favorite sandwich, and I'm so stuffed with cookies, I can't even look at it. <laughs> me look, me look. Good. <laughs> Muppet Baby will return after these messages. Okay, now we're talking Thunderblade. One heavily armed attack copter. Evil forces trashing your city. Twelve rounds of major air to ground destruction. An arcade classic. Allow me. Note my aerial technique. Hey, guys, come on. Come on, you'll get your turn. Thunderblade. Just one of 70 games from Sega. And now look for the incredible fantasy star. Sega, major fun and games. Wait, they see a fantasy star? Sega's Thunderblade, Fantasy Star, and Master System sold separately. Walt Disney Pictures presents an all-new musical adventure, Oliver and Company. Why should I worry? It's the story of Oliver as only Disney could tell it. It's the sounds of Billy Joel, Huey Lewis, Ruth Pointer, and Bette Midler. It's a magical musical adventure only at a theater near you. Absolutely positive. It's Walt Disney Pictures' Oliver and Company. Rated G. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. Muppet Babies will return. Here are Yeah! This is CBS. I know a boy, his name is Zack. His microchips are out of whack. He built a Blacktron Cadillac. He's Zack, the Lego maniac. He sent his cosmic fleet to Mars. He's out there cruising with the stars. His mind is lost in outer space. A Lego land basket case. Zack, Zack, he's a Lego maniac. Zack, Zack, he's a Lego maniac. Now Lego maniacs can get the new Lego Land monorail. Only on Earth. Dentistry for Babies, Tuesday at 11. Lost yet, Fozzie? Just find the other guys. 
Aha! The drawer! I got you now! Who's in here? Nobody in here but us chickens! Oh, sorry. Thanks for covering for me, girls. chance to win? Yeah, Scooter and Skeeter are hiding under the... Ah! I got you now! Oh, boy! Baseball! I told you Fozzie wouldn't see us. Run for home, Skeeter! Huh? Ollie, Ollie, Ollie oxen free! Oh, no! Not again! With my luck, I couldn't find someone if I sat on them. Oof! Yeah! Only only oxen free. Ah, uh, I give up. Game's over. We win. Okay, animal. Fuzzy gives up. You can come out now, animal. Come on, animal. The game's over. Animal. Stop goofing off, animal. Why are you always causing trouble, you little monster? Animal, you in here? He's got to be around here somewhere. I know. Let's set a trap for him and lure him out into the open. But what will we use for bait? Hey, Gonzo, do you still have that box of emergency cupcakes? Oh, no. Please, not that. Not my emergency cupcakes. Even for your little piggy wiggy? Oh, that's different. I do anything for my piggy wiggy. How about giving me a little one right here, my sweet? Why, certainly. Oh, I think I'm in love. There. Once Animal gets a whiff of these cupcakes, he'll knock the stick out and we'll have them. Okay, let's hide. Well, he's not in the closet. Mm. Mm. We got him! Shame on you, Animal! Disappearing like that. Fuzzy! What are you doing? I don't know, but I'm not eating cupcakes. Look, the door's open. He must have crawled out of the nursery. He left the nursery? He might get lost. Or scared. Or hurt. Gee, animal's just a baby, too. There's no telling what might happen to him. This is terrible. No, it's worse than that. I wasted my cupcakes. Gonzo! Well? Let's face it. Animal's gone. There's only one thing to do. We've got to go out and find him. But we're not supposed to leave the nursery. This is an emergency. Besides, if we don't find him before lunchtime, Nanny will find out. Then we'll all be in trouble. Come on. Let's go. See anything? Nope. 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 Well, I see something. What? A spider. Animal? Animal? You. Where are you? You in there, animal? Animal? Fuzzy, don't you know it's bad luck to open an umbrella in the house? It is? I guess it is. Maybe he's in this vent. Animal, you in here? Hmm. Oh, 
well. Whew. That was close. Come on, let's check this way. Oh no, it's 11.30. We'll have to hurry. Yeah, we've only got a half hour. Our only chance of finding animal in time is to split up. Just like in the movies. We'll form two search parties. And I'll go with Kermit and Fuzzy. And I'll lead the others. Okay, we'll meet back in the nursery in a half hour. Check. All right, men. Ten. Check. This is a dangerous mission, but I know I can count on you. Right? Yes, yes sir. And may the force be with you. up and Monster or not, we've got to take a look, for animal's sake. Right. You go first, Fozzie. That way, if there is a monster, it won't eat Kermit. Good idea. Huh? Uh, animal, y you done there? If you're not, just say no. 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 Well, uh, I guess he's not down there. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, Fuzzy? I think that's a good idea. Oh, brother, this place reminds me of the Temple of Doom. Uh, gee, Fuzzy, did you have to say that? Piggy, are you sure this is the basement? Hey, oh, yeah. hey, oh. What's that? Animal? Is that you? <laughs> Welcome to the basement of doom. Uh, we gotta go now. Uh, this fantasy is rated PG. We're underage. You shall remain here forever! Yeah. Oh yeah? Not if I have anything to say about it. <gasps> happens to Indiana Jones. Hey, wait a minute! Nobody treats my hero like that! Get them! Oh, Indiana! May I call you that? I've seen all your movies and there's something I've been dying to ask you. Who are those guys? I thought they were your friends. Not one. Then, uh, let's get out of here. Taller. You're not getting taller, Siri. The ceiling's coming down. Indiana. 
At times like this, I always do the same thing. My hero. Good idea. What? Not this baby boy turn after these messages. Kids Edition Pictionary, free with specially marked boxes of Post Honeycomb and Alphabet cereals. And now back to Muppet Baby. Oh, yeah! I, uh, I think this is the end, Piggy. Oh, Andy, you'll always be my hero. He'll be very short, but my hero. Hey, I think I found a way out. Uh oh. What have I done? You've just made this a lot more exciting, Fozzie. I did? Yep. Instead of just getting squashed, we're gonna get drowned in squashed. Gee, you're right. I did do that, didn't I? Oh, no. Ah, my dress! Fozzie, your stupid imagination got my dress all wet. Sorry. Fortunately, my imagination knows how to dry it off. Hey, that's really a neat trick, Piggy. There, that's better. Look, I think we're on the right track. Mm -hmm. Those are animals' crow prints, all right? Animal? Here, boy. Animal. Animal. Here, boy. Animal. Where are you? Please, animal, come back. Animal. Well, he's not in this hallway. Where do we look now? I'll check the laundry room. You men search Sector Y and meet me back here at 0900. Now, let's synchronize our watches. Uh, we don't have any watches, Gonzo. Oh, that's okay, Scooter. I don't know what synchronize means anyway. <laughs> Gee, what if Animal crawled into something and got stuck? We'd never find him. Wait a minute. Wolf's a dog. Huh? Maybe he can pick up the scent. I didn't know anybody dropped it. No, with your nose, silly. Oh, yeah. No, I forgot I had that. Hey, I think I smell something. What? Carpet shampoo. <laughs> Corporal Animal, where are you? If you're wounded, just scream three times. Animal? You in there? Ah! Oh, no wonder my socks have holes in them. Come on, guys. Maybe animals in this jungle over here. That's 
no jungle, Skeeter. It's just a potted plant. Oh, yeah? Well, that's not what I see. I see a tropical jungle full of wild beasts. I don't believe this. Gosh, we'll never find Animal in here. You've got to try. Come on. Animal? Animal, it's us. You who? Maybe animals inside. 
Um, I don't think we should open it, Fuzzy. In the movies, there's always a mummy in boxes like that. Mummies? Don't be ridiculous. Um, me open this, Fuzzy. Uh, it won't open. the little guy around to mess things up. Yeah, he always laughed at my jokes. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect. Oh no, it's lunchtime. We've got no choice. We'll have to tell Nanny. But she'll punish us. She'll, she'll put me in a jar filled with centipedes and make me do push-ups until my brains turn into toothpaste. What? Never mind. Uh, come on, guys. We've got to face this like frogs. Um, at least I do. Uh, Nanny? What is it, Kermit? <gasps> it's lunchtime. You all must be starving. Uh, actually, uh, we're not very hungry, Nanny. But uh, there's something that we've got to tell you. Well, go on. Uh, yeah, well, it's just that, um... Go on, Kermit. Right. Uh, well, you see, um, animal... Yes? Animal? You're alive! You're not gone! You're okay! Get here! <laughs> of course he's here. He crawled in here about an hour ago, and we've been watching TV together. What? TV! TV! What? Boy, animal, you certainly gave us a scare. Yeah, that's the last time we're gonna play hide-and-seek with you, animal. Hide and seek! Me hide! Me hide! Come back! Me hide! Me hide! And now, these messages. Where to hair? Lots of hair! And perfume everywhere! That's why we're so into Perfume Pretty Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie's into fragrance we can share. Because with Barbie, she's into long, pretty, fabulous hair. We're into it too. Wow. Down to there. We're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie doll comes with real fragrance for you and a gown she can wear short or long. From Mattel. Hey, I got second. No, man. You play right. Keep right. Can't be your best. You can't be your best if you don't eat a good breakfast. Good foods like fruit and cereal, juice, toast, and milk. I could have played second. Can't be your best. You can't be your best. If you don't eat a good breakfast. Piano. And I've got blue hair, 
all right in here? Yes, I do. Where's the hair? Lots of hair. And perfume everywhere. That's why we're so into Perfume Pretty Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie's into fragrance we can share. It comes with Barbie. She's into long, pretty, fabulous hair. We're into it too. Wow. Down to there. We're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie doll comes with real fragrance for you and a gown she can wear short or long. From Mattel. A Whopper, a shake, you can make what Burger King makes. Play-Doh presents the Burger King Whopper playset from Play-Doh. You can start with a burger on top of a bun and press out some pickles. This is fun! Lettuce and tomatoes piled up high and lots of onion rings to the sky. Feel like some fries, crispy dough. Put in the Play-Doh. Here they come! How about a treat? It's easy to make. In goes the Play-Doh. Out comes the shake. A Whopper! The Burger King Whopper playset from Play-Doh comes with everything you see here from Kenner. Now this game is... Now this... Now... This game is dynamite. dynamite! You make your roll, build your bridges, and send your man across. But watch out for the other guy. He can blow your bridges to smithereens and blow you back to start. <laughs> now this game is... The Dynamite Game. New from Parker Brothers. Yeah! 
brought you some hot chocolate. What's that book, Nanny? Oh, it's my old high school yearbook, Kermit. I was just about to look at it. Can we see? Little. Me luck. Me luck. What is a yearbook, Nanny? I know. It's a book where you list how many tomatoes are thrown at you each year. Fuzzy! Never mind. <laughs> well, actually, Fuzzy, a yearbook is like a photo album. It has pictures of all the people you knew and the things you did that year when you were in school. Wow! Look at those neat cars! Yeah, and those weird clothes! That's how people dressed in the 1950s, Gonzo. See? That's me. When I used to work at the drive-in restaurant near my school, we used to serve food to people in their cars. On roller skates? Uh-huh. Let me see. Wow! Watch it, Fuzzy. Look at her. Oh, dear. <gasps> Fuzzy! I, I didn't mean to do it, Nanny. I'm sorry. I know it was just an accident, Fuzzy, but I want you kids to pick up your things before you have another one. I'll be back with your lunch in an hour. Okay, Nanny. Hey, guys! You want to have a snowmobile race? I'll even give you a head start. No way, Gonzo. We have to clean up this mess. Yeah! But you haven't seen how fast I... No! Okay. Gee. I ruined Nanny's picture. Cheer up, Fozzie. You didn't mean to do it. Maybe Fozzie would feel better if we replaced it. But how can we replace the picture taken a zillion years ago? I know. We'll have Nanny put on Pinky's roller skates and serve make-believe donuts to Officer Carruthers in his police car, get the camera, take the picture... Fozzie! Sorry. Hey, guys! I know how we can get a picture of Nanny. You, you do? do? Yeah, we'll go back in time, into the past. Huh? But how do we go back in time, Gonzo? It's easy. We'll build a time machine and go back to the year when Nanny worked at the drive-in. We can use my supersonic snowmobile trunk. Oh. Well, it's better than doing nothing. You know what? Gonzo's right. It wouldn't hurt to give it a try. But we can't off it on Gonzo's trike. We can use the wagon, too. Yeah! Hook it up to the trike, Fozzie. Great! Let's build a time machine. Right! Skippy, Skippy! I'll get my jump rope. Don't forget the camera. Meow. Meow. <laughs> we did it! It just needs one more thing. We'll set the alarm on this so we'll be back before Nanny brings lunch. That way she won't even know we were gone. Good idea, Scooter. Hop in, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. All right, time travelers. Seatbelts fastened? Check. Check. Alarm clock set? Check. Temporal gyroscope programmed? Check. Check. What? Skip it. Whoops. I almost forgot. Ladies, gentlemen, and you guys, the doorway to the past. Huh? Hang on, here we go. Yay! Yeah! This is stupid, Gonzo. We're not in the past. In the dark. And scared. Come on! Wait a second! Give it a chance! <laughs> Where are we? Lost! Gosh, I don't see Nanny's driving anywhere. I knew Gonzo's time machine wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry, everything's uh, uh, under control. Now, let's see. Uh, if we go back through the closet and turn left at the shoe rack, that will put us... Nah, uh, uh, maybe we should have made a right at the dollhouse and... Uh, no. Nah. Well, maybe if I took a... This is dumb. Yeah, now we're lost. I need to 
scenic road. With a bunch of ridiculous clocks. Scooter, what are you doing? This clock's wrong. It's ten minutes behind. Hey, all the clocks here are wrong. Uh, they are? Whoops! Yeah! Yeah! Look out! Quick, close the door! Hurry! That was close. Gee, thanks, guys. I didn't know the clock was going to open up on prehistoric times. Hey, maybe all these clocks lead to different times. Then all we have to do is find the one that leads to Nanny's time. And the drive in. Hey, anybody seen Animal? Huh? Animal? Oh, no. Gee, what if he climbed into one of these clocks? Oh, no, he can be anywhere. Or any time. Gosh, Nanny will be mad if we lose Animal. We'll find him faster if we split up to look for him. Good idea, Gonzo. Scooter, you and Skeeter go with Gonzo in the time machine. The rest of us will look around here on foot. But Kermit, we only have a half hour to find Nanny's drive-in. We have to find Animal first. Then we'll look for Nanny's drive-in. Animal! Where are you? much luck tracking down Animal. Maybe we should leave the Old West and try looking for him in another time. Um, I guess you're right, Piggy. Yeah, all I see around here are these shiny yellow rocks. Huh? Those aren't rocks, Fozzie. They aren't? No, you've discovered gold. Gold? Gold? gold. <laughs> I guess that's what they call a gold rush. Gee, they took everything. Yeah, even the ground we're standing on. Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Muppet Babies will return after these messages. <laughs> little Miss Makeup, we're going to a party. She's Little Miss Makeup. The magical doll. You'll need your eyeshadow. Ooh, purple earrings, too. And your red nail polish. Wow. Just use cold and warm water. Now, should I put your lipstick on or take it off? Um, let's put it back on. And with your sweetheart, we'll be the hit of the party. <laughs> Little Miss Makeup comes with a play suit and a party dress you can change. Little Miss Makeup, only from Mattel. Why is alphabets fun to eat? Because you can eat the fun. Oh, it's a robot. There's a robot in my alphabet. How does it taste? Wow. <laughs> eat for donkey. There's a donkey in my alphabet. How does it taste? Yeah. Post alphabet cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can eat the fun. The best. Wow. And eat. 
Uh, we have a <laughs> This is Nerf fencing. You get two swords in a box. That's my kid brother. Here. Anyway, this is a game of real skill. To win, you gotta knock down all these targets. Watch me demonstrate on the geek here. And go! From Parker Brothers. Now this game is... Now this... Now... This game is dynamite. Oh you make your roll, build your bridges, and send your man across. But watch out for the other guy. He can blow your bridges to smithereens and blow you back to start. <laughs> now this game is... The dynamite game. New from Parker Brothers. Will Christmas be canceled? Find out on the Dr. Seuss classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Then it's holiday magic with the original Frosty the Snowman. All Mondays starting at 8. And now back to Mother's Baby. like much fun. Password. Chocolate cupcake. Enter. Anyway. That 
was close. Yeah. Hey, did you find Nanny's drive-in? No, not yet. How much time do we have? Only two minutes. Oh, oh no. no. We'll never be able to tell which clock leads to the 1950s. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Scooter, what are you doing? Maybe we don't have to find the right clock. Maybe we just have to tell the clock the right time.
We tried to take a new picture for your yearbook, Nanny. To replace the one we messed up. Only we ran out of time. Oh, you kids don't have to do that. Besides, I got most of the chocolate off of the picture before it stained. See? Hey, guys, I got it. What? I got the picture. Look, Fonzie got the picture. Really? Let's see. Oh, boy. Picture? What? Oh, oh. Fozzie, that's not Nanny. Oh, gee. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I think it's wonderful. You do? You do? You do? Uh-huh. And I'm going to keep it in my yearbook with all my other favorite memories. <gasps> hey, guys, look! Nothing is impossible if you use your imagination. <laughs> Muppet Baby will return after these messages. Hey, you gonna brave the rapids? Sure, after this complete breakfast, including my frosted flakes, they bring out the tiger in you. Good, you'll need it. Good? <laughs> They're good. Nice. You'll show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. It's blood-curdling, spine-tingling, bone-chilling. It's Ghost Monster Iron-Ons. Ah! And one's free in Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Wish we were grown up and beautiful. It's easy, we're Wish Road kids. Stop the love, has twice the pop. Wish your dress through into a beauty shop. Ooh. And we wash it, dries your hair. Comes and dials it with great flair. Wish kids. Dream Queen has twice the glow. Wish a mirror into a beauty each place that's built separately, socks and logs and Dream and Queen come with their very own dolls, new from Kenner. Muppet Babies will return. Here I'm baby Yeah! This is CBS. This is a Brontosaurus burger. Denny's introduces a new kids menu with some fun things to eat. This is a corn dog. Uh, so this is a pterodactyl egg sandwich. Corn sour. And right now at Denny's to help celebrate our new kids menu, you can get any of these Flintstone toys for two ninety nine each. Corn dog. Mm -hmm. It's Flintstones fun at Denny's. Ah, it's a corn dog store. A baby gorilla and her mom. Saturday at 8.30. And now, back to Muppet Baby.
guess you heard that one, huh? Ready? Look out! I gotta get a goal before the clock runs out. today. I'll go remind her. Are you okay, Skeeter? I don't think so. I hurt my ankle. What was that shout? I tripped on a roller skate, Nanny. <gasps> Does it hurt? Uh-huh. Oh, dear. Haven't I told you how dangerous it is to leave your toys out where people can trip on them? Yes, yes Mommy. Mommy. We would never leave our skates lying around, would we? Uh -huh. Oh, look! What's that? Huh? Why, it's Gonzo's skate! It is? I could have sworn I put my skates away! Gee, kids. I was looking forward to taking you all to the art museum today. Now, because of your carelessness, Gonzo, we won't be able to go. Oh, oh, Gonzo! But, Nanny, I'm sorry, Skeeter. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh. I'll go get some ice for your ankle, Skeeter. You wait here. Okay, Nanny. Gee, Nanny's been looking forward to taking us to the museum all week. Now because of you, she has to spend the day taking care of Skeeter. Gosh, I don't even remember leaving my skate out. Maybe my brain isn't working right. Your brain has never worked right, Gonzo. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Hey, maybe we can figure out some way to make it up to Nanny. That's a great idea, Kermit. We could get her a present. Hmm, what would Nanny like? I got it, an Italian cookbook. Huh? Uh, that way, when Fozzie tells a bad joke, Nanny can scrape the tomato off his face and make us a pizza. Uh, yeah. uh, ravioli? I know. If Nanny can't go to the art museum, we'll bring the art museum to Nanny. How are we going to do that, Kermit? Simple. We'll paint our own pictures and hang them in the nursery for Nanny to look at. Yeah! Wow! Great idea, Kermit. But what do we know about art? I saw an art book on the living room table. We can copy the pictures. Right! Let's go get it. <laughs> it was right on the table. Whoa! Oh, no! We'll never get the book without Nanny seeing us, and that will spoil the surprise. Oh, yes, we will. Commander Gonzo of the Blue Berets will get it. I got us into this jam. I'll get us out. All right, men, we'll need to divert Nanny's attention while I sneak in and grab the book. Any volunteers? Volunteer! <laughs> Very good, private animal. Take this to Skeeter and tell her Gonzo says he's sorry. Okay. 
it. Gonzo, sorry. Gee, that, that's Gonzo's favorite toy. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, let's move out. What was that? Uh, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 What's gotten into you, animal? Nothing, Nanny. Sorry, animal. Okay. Wow. Let me see. We can copy these pictures and Nanny will never know the difference. Oh, stop. That's a great one. I just love it. That's the best painting I ever saw. That's not a painting, Fozzie. It's an old photograph of you. Oh, I knew that. Oh, how beautiful. Nanny would love a painting like this. Oh, right. Who's going to be the lucky painter who turns moi into a masterpiece? Me. I will. Me too, me too. Where do I get my crayons? If you can't stop can-canning for a minute, I won't be able to paint you. Kermit Latrek, what kind of painting is that? Well, it's just what you asked for, Piggy. An oil painting. Oh, yuck! Kermit Latrek, if you can't paint me can-canning, there are plenty of other artists who can. Hmm. Shift 500 track. Foster's in the Ferrari, Pearson in the Porsche. And they're off. Foster's 
Parker breaks out of the speech of 500 track with a great start. Oh, no, he misses the shift and he flips off the jump. Is he okay, folks? Yes, he's back in the race. Meanwhile, Pearson's taking the jump at tremendous speed. He's out the lead and Parker calls the gap. No, Pearson's our winner! The Hot Wheels Speed Shift 500 racing set. You put it together, not for use with some cars. New from Mattel. Sniff. Sniff terrific. Sniff terrific. Smell terrific. Instant Quaker Oatmeal. Sniff Instant Quaker Oatmeal. When it smells this good, it's got to taste even better. Sniff terrific. Taste terrific. Instant Quaker Oatmeal. Eleven sniff terrific. Taste terrific flavors. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Apples and cinnamon. Family Rock and Play Nursery. Dolls and sets all sold separately. You put them together. And now back to Muppet Baby. Oh, yeah! Boy, is Nanny gonna love this painting. Wow, that's neat, Gonzo. It's great, huh, Piggy? Why, I uh, yes, yes, it's, it's wonderful. You really like it, Piggy? Mm-hmm. And as, uh, director of the Muppet Museum, I personally am going to hang your painting in the best possible place. Perfect. Huh? You're the director? Gosh, I can't think of anything to paint that Nanny might like. Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? I think I'll call it Still Life with Tomatoes. I think you ought to stick to telling jokes, Fuzzy. Okay, how about this one? Why don't snakes like to finger paint? Give up? Because they don't have any fingers. Waka, waka, waka! Oh! Wow! Ah, my painting's ruined. I wonder what other kinds of paintings Nanny might like. Wow, that's the kind of picture I'd like to paint. Howdy, Wild Bill. Ah, Butch. You can't be too careful with all the rocking horse keys running around these days. Hey, Butch, how about we deal your hand of old maid? No thanks, Clem. I prefer crazy apes. What'll it be, Butch? A double. Um, a double scoop of vanilla, that is. Coming right up. Say, handsome, how about you buy me an ice cream cone? Uh, be my pleasure, ma'am. What are you doing in these parts, Butch? Heard there was someone looking to outdraw me. Yep. There he is. What the heck? The Sundance Weirdo. Butch Kermit and the Sundance Weirdo? Drawing the southeast. See? Once you go past Interstate 35, I'm the fastest. Southeast, northwest. What's the difference? I'm calling you, Butch. Okay, and I'm calling you Sundance. I think he means he wants to meet you out on the street. Oh, uh, right. Out of the OK Corral. <laughs> Done. Oh, shucks. You beat me. Need painting, Butch. 
Oh, it was nothing. Are you kidding? That's terrific, Kermit. Yeah, I wish I could paint like that. Ha! If you think that's hot, check this out! Pretty good, eh? <gasps> it's horrible! What? what? I mean, uh, it's, it's horrible that we don't have a museum just for Gonzo's exquisite art. I think I'll hang this one right here. Uh, why do you keep hiding Gonzo's paintings, Piggy? Hide Gonzo's art? More? Oh, don't be silly, Kermit. I'm, um, uh, keeping it out of the sunlight so it won't fade. Gee, that's thoughtful of you, Piggy. I know. Wow, I found a sculpture that Nanny will dig. I wonder what he's thinking. I know. He's trying to think of a good song. Why don't you help him out, Ralph? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, here goes. You might like rainbow colors on the canvas. Maybe black and white with shades of gray. Pen and ink or watercolors. Even photographs. Or a piece of sculpture made from stone or clay. All is for your heart. Maybe he'd be happier in green. You know, the classic picture of the farmer and his wife. It just might be more beautiful if I were in the same case. Art is for your heart. Don't you look a little closer? Something that for everyone who takes the time to see. and clay is fun. Hey, guys! Check out my sculpture! What do you think, huh? <gasps> uh, it's uh, kind of uh, weird, Ganjo. Thanks! I'll put it on the bookshelf where Nanny will be sure to see it. Nanny. Interesting, huh? Boy, you look weird, Gonzo. There's nothing weird about me, Scooter. It's your painting that's weird. It is not. Pablo Piganzo is right, Scooter. Your painting is all wrong. No, it isn't. Well, it sure looks crazy to me. How's it look to you, Pablo Pafazi? I never saw anything so strange in my life, Pablo Peralfo. Uh, Scooter, I think your glasses must be dirty. I'll bet if you clean them, you'd see what we mean. You think so? Well, okay. <sighs> Gee, you were right, Pablo Pekermit. My painting does look kind of odd, doesn't it? It sure does, Pablo Pascooter. <laughs> Nanny's gonna love this one. Me paint! Me paint! Animal, no! You're making a mess! Not mess! Art! See? <gasps> Animal, what have you done? Animal didn't do that. That's a real painting. It is? I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's weird. Paint more! Paint more! Animal, get 
get out of that peony. There's no way you're gonna clean this up, animal. Much better. Hey, that looks like a joke I once told. You can't see jokes, Fuzzy. You can after the audience throws tomatoes. Give me that. I'll clean this up for you. There, that's better. Here, let me try. Phew, I did it. Well, almost. <laughs> You're a mess! Yeah, what are we gonna do with you now? Hang in museum! Speaking of museums, we gotta get the place ready for Nanny. What are you doing, Gonzo? I finally figured out the perfect painting to paint! Really? Uh, let me see. Uh-uh, not until the museum opens. It's gonna be a surprise. Let's get Nanny. You coming? What? Oh, I mean, of course. Uh, Gonzo has something he wants to tell you, Nanny. What is it, Gonzo? Uh, we want you to come with us to the museum, Nanny. I'm sorry, Gonzo, but you know I can't leave Skeeter here. No problem, Nanny. We'll take her with us. Grab her. Careful. Easy. Watch your foot. Careful. Come on. But the museum is halfway across town. No, it isn't, Nanny. It's right here. It is? Neato. Oh, kids. Did you do this for me? Uh-huh. How do you like our paintings, Nanny? Why, they're wonderful. But I didn't see yours, Gonzo. I was saving it for last. My painting reveals the truth about me and Piggy. <gasps> oh, no! Nanny's going to find out about the roller skate. No! Wait! I painted a picture of Piggy because the truth is, I like her more than anyone in the world. You too? Uh, uh, I don't know what to say, except I can't stand it. Piggy, that's no way to talk about Gonzo's painting. I'm not talking about his painting, Nanny. I can't stand lying about this anymore. Uh, lying about what, Piggy? Gonzo's innocent. I am? Uh-huh. Skeeter tripped on my roller skate. I swapped mine with Gonzo so I wouldn't get in trouble. I'm sorry, Skeeter. I'm sorry, Gonzo. That's okay, Piggy. I should have watched where I was going anyway. I can't believe it! Framed by my favorite person in the world! Oh, can you ever forgive me, Gonzo? Well, Picky, my sweet, there is one thing you can do to make it up to me. Anything. You can give me a kiss on my nose. Yuck. Uh, I mean, oh, okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't believe it! She kissed me! I'm never going to wash my nose again. And now, these messages. <laughs> little Miss Makeup, we're going to a party. She's Little Miss Makeup, the magical doll. You'll need your eyeshadow. Ooh, purple earrings, too. And your red nail polish. Wow. Just use cold and warm water. Now, should I put your lipstick on or take it off? Um, let's put it back on. And with your sweetheart, we'll be the hit of the party. <laughs> Little Miss Makeup comes with a play suit and a party dress you can change. Little Miss Makeup, only from Mattel. Now this game is... Now this... Now... This game is dynamite. <laughs> you make your roll, build your bridges, and send your man across. But watch out for the other guy. He can blow your bridges to smithereens and blow you back to start. <laughs> now this game is the Dynamite Game. New from Parker Brothers.
Meet the Pretenders. We're a bunch of cats who'll do anything to get out of this pet shop, even dress up like other animals. So if you see us in your neighborhood and you find out we're not what you think we are, you're the best bunny ever. Purr? You're not a bunny. You're a cat. Don't tell, okay? Don't worry. It'll be our secret. The Pretenders from Fisher Price each sold separately. Squeeze them and they really purr. It's my favorite show that I'm not in. Pee-wee's Playhouse. Coming up next. Garfield says if I'm awake, it must be fun. Loving Care Play Case sold separately. You put it together from Mattel. Hey, I got sick. No, man. You play right. Keep right. Can't be your best. You can't be your best if you don't eat a good breakfast. Good foods like fruit and cereal, juice, toast, and milk. I could have played second. Can't be your best. You can't be your best. Eh? You don't eat a good breakfast. I know a boy, his name is Zack. He loves to fit, he loves to stack. Yes, construction is his knack. He's Zack, the Lego maniac. He builds in the window, he's off the wall. He builds them big, he builds them small. In Lego land, he'll rock and roll. He's Lego wild, out of control. Zack, Zack. Legoland King's Castle Airport Cosmic Fleet Voyager sold separately from Lego Systems. And now back to Muppet Baby.
molded articulated toy to have fun? Yes, we do. You said it. Aha! Uh -huh. Let us uh -huh. play with it. Not if you use your imagination. What's wrong with all of these toys? Well, um, we already played with them, Nanny. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I see. That is a problem. Well, I've got a box of toys you've never played with. You uh -huh. do? Uh-huh. They're my old toys. I'll get them down from the attic and give them to you. Well, here they are, kids. Wow! Oh. Um, I'll bet you'll have lots of fun with these. Gee, uh, thanks, Nanny. These look real, uh, boring. Hey, Scooter. Um. Do you think maybe we could play with your new toy for just a minute? Well, uh, um... In fact, we're so nice, we'll trade you all of Nanny's wonderful toys for your one measly robot. Pretty good deal, huh? What? Yeah, just one time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Um, no way, you guys. I saved for six months to buy my polystyrene fully articulated injection molded pre-programmed Transco Jobot. Oh. What are we gonna do now? I've got an idea. You get Scooter's attention and I'll get it. And I'll grab a switch and cut the right. Oh, 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 oh. Look! There's a dinosaur on the ceiling! Really? Where? Right over there. Uh, right beside that UFO with little green men in it. Wrong code entered. Oh boy. Enemy 
Gonzo, but you entered the wrong operator code. <laughs> oh, uh, you think maybe he could untie me? Sure. I'll just enter the right code sequence and... Uh, I guess I haven't quite figured out all the instructions yet. <laughs> Gonzo? Yeah. Thanks, Kermit. Forget it, Gonzo. I bet there's lots of neat things in Nanny's toy box that we could play with. Come on. Look! A jack in the box! A lava! Hey! That's supposed to come out of the box, dummy!
Ozzy. Uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of this thing. Uh, let's see. Remote control magnet hand. <laughs> It wasn't supposed to work like that. I'll try and correct the program. We'll do something quick before this thing drops me. Whoa! <laughs> I can't seem to press the right buttons. And let's go, Joe, but this on his way. Huh? In just a moment, I think we have a program to save the day. Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Yeah! We're in some wild shades! We're the stars and going to the beach. And we're big time into California Dream Barbie. California Dream Barbie's in the fashion fun. She's in the changing to bikinis in the California sun. She's in the taking shots. Palm tree earring. She's in the life and the lot. <laughs> we know we're into it too. We just can't stop. We're in the bar. California Dream Barbie doll comes with a Beach Boys record for you. Surf and Shop and dolls all sold separately. From Mattel. It was a bit before Christmas and all through the house, nothing was stirring, not even a... I ran to the kitchen, what could it be? Christmas crunch from the cabin to me! This crunch is special to make breakfast merry. It's loaded with yummy red and green crunch berries. Very sweet, delicious. But it's only here till Christmas. Christmas crunch is a very merry part of this balanced breakfast. Great. You can get one of four jolly ornaments. It's a soggy. Jet banana sleigh. Or ski. There's one in each specially marked box of Christmas Crunch. In the potato news, Princess Fry denies rumors she's expecting a royal sprout. The Washington Potato Skins won the championship, but the hottest news is hot potato. Hot potato makes his own music in this game. You gotta keep him moving, because if you got him when the music stops, you're starting to get hot. And when you get hot... You're not. <laughs> Hot potato is one cool spud. That's it from your commentator. Hot potato, the musical potato action game. New from Parker Brothers. Little Miss Makeup, we're going to a party. She's Little Miss Makeup, the magical doll. You'll need your eyeshadow. Ooh, purple earrings too. And your red nail polish. Wow. Just use cold and warm water. Now, should I put your lipstick on or take it off? Um, let's put it back on. And with your sweetheart, we'll be the hit of the party. <laughs> Little Miss Makeup comes with a play suit and a party dress you can change. Little Miss Makeup, only from Mattel. Make way for one of America's favorite characters. Can one tiny reindeer save the day on a stormy Christmas Eve? The original Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Monday at 8. Now, 
Are you kidding? Watch this! Huh? <laughs> I'm getting up to speed now! <laughs> I told you it would fly! <laughs> Gonzo! Come back! We've got to get him before he gets hurt! before something awful happens to him, not to mention us. Come on, Gonzo. We're taking you back to the nursery. <laughs> back to the nursery. That's a good one, Piggy. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll get Gonzo. Friends go Jobot's air rescue mode will really impress them. Plan, right, Sir Lapalot? 
right, Kermit Arthur. You let me help you. breakfast than ever. I'm a buzz with the news. <laughs> so are we. Yeah. Hand over your honey sweet wheat, sugar bell. Yeah, hand it over. To be or not to be. How about a vitamin pack punch? Now buzz off. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. And more honey. Wish we were grown up and beautiful. It's easy, we're Wish Road kids. Stop the lock, pass twice the pop. Wish your dress through into a beauty shop. Ooh. And we wash it, dries your hair. Combs and dials it with great flair. Wish Road kids. Dreaming queen has twice the glow. Wish a mirror into a beauty shop. Wow. Yeah. Trish is the queen. A runway miss. Here that she is. We're Wish Road kids. Each place that built separately. Socks and locks and Dreaming queen come with their very own dolls. New from Kenner. Muppet Babies will return. Here on Sabian! Yeah! This is CBS. I know a boy, his name is Zack. His microchips are out of whack. He built a Blacktron Cadillac. He's Zack the Lego Mania. 
Zodiac. He sent his cosmic fleet to Mars. He's out there cruising with the stars. His mind is lost in outer space. A Legoland basket case. Sack, sack. He's a Lego maniac. Sack, woo, sack. He's a Lego maniac. Now Lego maniacs can get the new Legoland monorail. Only on Earth. At the movies, Saturday at 7.30.
Piggy. What are you doing in those silly looking clothes? They're not silly. They're grown up. Can't you tell? Um, yeah, sure. He was everything a girl could want in a frog. Fearless eyes. Oh, uh, what can I do for you, ma'am? Um, well, I'm looking for excitement and romance. Relax. Your search is over. I know. Huh? Yep. I found him this morning. Excitement and romance. You did say you were looking for him, didn't you? Ooh, get out of my imagination! Okay, okay. Sorry. Not you! Um, Kermit, you are the excitement and romance that I'm looking for. Who? I am? And so, after imagining my green frog with bigger brains, we headed across town. Suddenly, shots rang out in the night. What's going on? Oh, nothing. That's just Animal and his gang trying to get my billion dollar inheritance. What? My feet don't reach the pedals! How was I supposed to know he was a foot short of perfect? I decided I'd have to use my imagination to help him reach those pedals. Boom! Oh, thanks! That's much better! Okay, hang on! gas out of cover it. Oh, On second thought, uh, let's just call it even. Keep the money. joke was bad, but maybe I could lend you some of my jokes. Uh, how about this one? What do you call a guy with a chicken on his head? Uh, a, a feather brain. Oh, I guess you heard that one. Wait a minute. I got a joke I know you'll just love. What did the seven dwarfs say when someone asked them what color snow was? Give up? They said, isn't Snow White? Get it? <laughs> Seven dwarfs, Snow White, waka waka waka. Whoa! Ouch! There's nothing worse than frozen tomatoes. What the, what the? Hey! I don't know if 
this perfect friend business is such a good idea. Good idea! <laughs> Whoa! Animal! Me try! Me try! Animal, cut that out! Best friend noise! <laughs> you break the computer! <laughs> Best friend wild! Slimy! Send your man across. But watch out for the other guy. He can blow your bridges to smithereens and blow you back to start. Dynamite! Now this game is the Dynamite Game. New from Parker Brothers. So, what do you guys do for fun around here? I don't know. What do you do in the city? I don't know. You guys have strawberry in your Twinkies? New fruit and cream Twinkies. Real strawberry swirled inside its creamy middle. So, is everything different around here? Not everything. Oh. Original Twinkies, and now new fruit and cream Twinkies from Hostess. Bill's Rice Krispies sounded great, until... Hush! Hush! They stopped talking. Hey! Bring back Snap, Crackle, and Pop! Hush! Put him down! Snap to it! Snap? Yeah! Snap! Whoa, whoa. Ah! Ah! And so... Snap! 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 <laughs> the talking part of this complete breakfast returned. Rice Krispies! Breakfast doesn't sound good without... Okay? You almost got us in big trouble, animal. 
sorry. I don't know about you guys, but I know exactly what makes a perfect friend. A perfect friend must be very intelligent, mathematical in thinking, and have tons of information at his fingertips. What happened? The screen went blank. I don't understand it. I entered all the right stuff. Hey, who are you? I'm Pal, your perfect friend. You programmed me yourself. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. I can play any game, answer any question. Why, I can do just about anything. I'm perfect. Listen, pal, how about a game of tic-tac-toe? My pleasure, friend. You go first. Uh, okay. Hey! You lose. But I didn't even play. Yes, but knowing you as I do, I predicted every one of your moves and place my O's accordingly. You lose. That's no fun. Hmm. I know. Let's put together a jigsaw puzzle. <sighs> it's always best to put the borders together first. Don't bother. I've already solved the puzzle. What? Watch. Aw, uh, that's no fair. I didn't even get a chance to find one piece. Why don't we forget about games and go to a party? Gosh, I didn't know computers like parties. Sure. Come on, friend. Okay, pal. Huh? Great party. Hey, friend. Yay, what a party. Pal, I'll have a bite to eat. I'll have a bit. Computer pals. Hooey. Well, I don't need a stupid computer to find my perfect friend. I should use my imagination. My perfect friend would be very athletic, tall, muscular. Wow, a person could really get in shape here. Yeah, I could build muscles on my nose. <laughs> That's right. Are you ready for your workout? Sure we are. Let's go. Yeah. First, we'll do some chin-ups. Mm. 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 I can't mm. reach. Don't worry. Mm. I'll fix it. Mm. Up, down. Up, okay. down. Okay, here you go. Okay, now it's barbell time. But we haven't even finished chin up yet. Boy, I'm finished. Yeah, me too. All right, pick up those bars and start pumping. One, two, one, two, one, hey, two. That was one, easy enough. Two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, Rolf, I bet you can't lift the dumbbell. Sure I can. Watch. Hey, what are you doing? Lifting a dumbbell, silly. Oh, I knew. Whoa. That. Ready, guys? Lift. Uh, <laughs> And he turned out to be Skeeter. Some muscle men are just too interested in themselves to have fun. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know about you guys, but my perfect friend would be pink and sweet and... Huh? Oh, no, you don't! I'm not having anything to do with your crazy imagination, Gonzo. <laughs> and she'd have your blue eyes.
even more beautiful than I imagined. How's about a little peck on my nose? Oh, peck of my dreams? Not in front of our perfect children. Uh, children? and my jokes, we've got a lot in common. Yeah, and fleas, too. Huh? Oh. Oh. Yes. Friend. Thank you, animal. Well, Kit, it looks like you found your perfect friends after all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, they were right under our noses all along, Nanny. She thinks, Gonzo. Best friend! And now, these messages. Haven't heard the latest word. Fashion star, Billy. Horses 
and fashion sold separately. Joelle's going to be beautiful. Her outfit's so fancy. Here's a lacy garter. I love her wedding dress. Chloe's flashy in her evening gown. She's hot tonight. There, her hair is perfect. These pretty fillies look so right. They'll be fashion stars tonight. Fabulous. Fashion star fillies. Fashion star fillies. Five star wedding gown and star lace evening gown sold separately. Why is alphabets fun to eat? Because you can eat the fun. Ours for robots. There's a robot in my alphabet. How does it taste? <laughs> D for donkey. There's a donkey in my alphabet. How does it taste? Post alphabet cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can eat the fun. The best. And E R. We. Colgate Jr. for superstars like you. Saturday Rocks! Oh yeah! On CBS! Stay two for Pee Wee's Playhouse, <laughs> followed by Garfield and Friends! Going up here! The most fun you can ever have at a playhouse is at Pee Wee's Playhouse. Take it, Garfield. It's my second favorite show. Coming up next. motor needs no batteries ever. These Mighty Moes just go and go. Mighty Moes, each sold separately from Place School. Sharing friends. 
Happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. <laughs> Gonzo to me. Oh. How's everything going, kids? Fine, Mommy. Everything was going just fine, Nanny, until Gonzo started acting weird again. Yeah, Nanny. Yeah. has a right to be the way they are, don't you think? Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess so. Perhaps if you tried to look at things the way Gonzo sees them, you might understand him better. Well, we'll try, Nanny. I know you will. Gosh. Why do you think you're so weird, Gonzo? 
Uh, gee, I don't know, Kermit. Maybe my batteries are low. Uh, no, they're okay. Weirdo. Hey, I know. Maybe if Gonzo explained what weird means to him, it wouldn't seem so weird to us. Maybe. I'll do better than explain it. I'll take you there. Well, good idea. Let's go. You are about to enter another dimension. A dimension of time, space, and cold for me. A place where brains are left on the doorstep. A place called the Weirdo Zone. understand Gonzo any better? Maybe we'd understand Gonzo better if we each looked for the weirdness in ourselves. Well, that's a great idea. That's a terrible idea. Personally, I have absolutely no weirdness in me at all. Ah, uh, come on, Piggy. There must be a little around here somewhere. What? <laughs> Maybe not. Gee, do you think I might have some weirdness in me, Gonzo? I don't know. Say ah. Uh. Uh... Yep, there it is. Gee, uh, this is kind of weird. This? This is nothing. Come on, I'll give you some lessons in weird. <laughs> Gonzo, are you okay? Sure, that was the first lesson. Go on, try it. Uh, okay. See, Gonzo, I'm just not as weird as... <laughs> Okay, now all you have to do is imagine somewhere crazy for us to be rowing. Oh, I get it. You mean like in the ocean? No, that's not weird. Now this is weird. See? Wow, looks like we're in a giant glass of soda. Uh-oh. <laughs> Weird. And fun, too. I know something that's weird. Tomatoes! 
Tomatoes? Well, not just any tomatoes. What would be weird would be the attack of the silly tomatoes. Huh? It was 12.15 in the big city. I'm Fozzie Bear of the FBI, the Funny Business Investigation Agency. That's me in the car there. It was an ordinary, unweird day, just like any other, when suddenly... We interrupt this cartoon for a special bulletin. Silly tomatoes are attacking everywhere looking for lousy comedians. Whatever you do, don't tell any bad jokes like... Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Uh, wow! No! Stop! I was only kidding! Wait! Boy! Something weird is going on! It's a good thing I didn't tell a bad joke. Like, why did the carpenter bring his saw to the dentist? Give up to get its teeth clean. Cause then I... Uh, uh, Oh, no! Kermit! Muppet babies will return after these messages. Yeah! Bill's Rice Krispies sounded great until... Hush! Hush! They stopped talking. Hey! Bring back Snap, Crackle, and Pop! Hush! Put him down! Snap to it! Snap? Yeah! Snap! Whoa, whoa. Ah! Ah! And so... Snap, Crackle, and Pop! <laughs> the talking part of this complete breakfast returned. Right, Crispy! Breakfast doesn't sound good without him. Have you heard the latest word? Fashion Star Phillies! Horses and Star Spangles accessories sold separately. Nikki's mane so silky! These glittery star spangles help style her hair. That looks cool. Wow, these body paints make Calla sparkle. She's fabulous. Yeah! Now they look so pretty, all decked out. That's what fashion's all about. Hey! hey. Fashion Star Phillies! Fashion Star Phillies and Star Spangles accessories, each sold separately. New from Kenner. Junior for superstars like you. Get the beat. Let me tell you that A is for apple. Apple Jack, so appley sweet. And you know J is for Jack. Uh huh, and they're cool to eat. Appley sweet apple Jack. Real apples and cinnamon make Kellogg's apple Jacks an appley sweet part of a complete breakfast.
less weird before, Gonzo. Tough luck, Kermit. Now that I'm normal, Hickey's gonna like me more than you. How's about planting a little kiss on my normal little nose? Hickey, my petunia. to understand Gonzo better. I understand him perfectly. He's weird. 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 <laughs> Me weird too. Imagination. He's trying to be weird, too. Well, it doesn't look very weird to me. Weird is feet. Huh? I think it's getting weirder. That's not all. Uh, the kids definitely got promised. <laughs> A chip off the old weirdo. Weirdo, weirdo. Yeah. <laughs>
It is? Uh-huh. And I dream that I eat everything. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. has a little bit of weird in them, Gonzo. Even you? Well, uh, yeah. Wait a minute and I'll show you. Any better now? We sure do, Nanny. Uh huh. And we learned that being weird can be fun. Yeah. And we learned that everybody has a little bit of weirdness in them somewhere, right, Gonzo? Everybody but me. I'll never be weird again. I can't take it. Nope. I'm totally normal. Eh? Oh, Gonzo, that isn't you. Yeah, come on, Gonzo. Just be yourself. to get an education. You're right, Kermit. There's a time for jokes and a time for being serious. 
Hey, Skeeter, what's that? Yay! A spider! Where? Where? It's only my fake spider. Pretty funny joke, huh? <laughs> no, it's not funny. I thought you were going to be serious, Fozzie. Sorry, Kermit. I must have gotten up on the funny side of the bed this morning. Okay, quiet down, class. The first thing we are going to do is call the roll. While you're at it, call me a dinner roll. <laughs> I'm hungry. Waka, waka, waka. Oh, Fozzie. That's enough, Fozzie. In my class, you will raise your hand if you want to speak. Our first subject today will be Italian history. Does anyone know who discovered spaghetti? I do. I do. Okay, Gonzo, go ahead. It was the famous explorer, Marco Weirdo. Who? Okay, he was sailing around the world looking for sugar and spice and everything nice. When suddenly... A submarine attack. A submarine sandwich, that is. Marco Weirdo did the only thing he could. He stuffed his cannons with pizza dough. Spaghetti was born. That's incredible. Are you kidding? You should see how I discovered meatballs. Um, thank you, Gonzo. You may sit down. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion always gets a laugh. <laughs> Gosh, maybe it's broken. That won't be the only thing that's broken, Fozzie, if you don't stop goofing off. You're never going to learn anything. But I'm going to be a comedian, and I already know how to be funny. Waka, waka, waka. Sit down! It's time for our arithmetic lesson. Scooter, if you have ten hot dogs and Skeeter took three of them, what would you have? He'd have a tummy ache. <laughs> Get it? Waka, waka, waka. Uh, <sighs> All right, Mr. Jokester. Let's see if this makes you laugh. What's that? It's a dunce cap, you dunce. If you have to tell jokes, then tell them to the wall. Okay. Hey, Wall, why did the man put a sweater on his hot dog? Because it was a chili dog. Waka, waka, waka. Report card time. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see, let's see. Wow, I got an A in music. And I got an A in cute? Me get A for animal. <laughs> Than an A. I got a W for being weird. Hey guys, look at this. I got an F for funny. Uh, gee, Fuzzy, that's not an F for funny. That's an F for not being funny. Gosh, I thought my jokes would get an A. Hi, kids. How's your first day at school going? I got an A in arithmetic, Nanny. And I got an A in gymnastics. Well, congratulations. <laughs> What's the matter, Fozzie? Who wrote this report card? <laughs> Piggy did, Nanny. Giving Fozzie an F wasn't very nice, Piggy. I think you should apologize. I'm sorry I gave you an F, Fozzie. And I'm even more sorry that your jokes aren't funny. Piggy! They are so. They are not! Uh, why don't you tell Nanny a joke and let her decide? Great idea, Kermit. Here's a funny one, Nanny. What's the difference between an orange? Go ahead, Fozzie. Finish the joke. It is finished. That's the joke. See, Nanny? <laughs> um, why, um, that was very different, Fozzie. That's okay, Nanny. You don't have to laugh. I guess Piggy was right. I'm not funny. Don't give up, Fozzie. With a little more practice, I'm sure you could be a very funny comedian. Yeah, sure, Nanny. Fozzie looks awful sad. Yeah, we can't let him think he's a failure. We gotta help him out. But how? We could give him funny lessons. Oh, that's a great idea, Gonzo.
Come on, Fuzzy. We're going to turn you into the funniest bear in town. You are? Sit down, Fuzzy, and Kermit will show you how to be funny. Me? Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, now appearing live in the world-renowned nursery room, the one and only Kermit Danger Frog. Now remember, Fuzzy, the secret to funny jokes is twisting around the meaning of the words. Um, I knew a guy who was going to start a bakery, only he couldn't raise the dough. <laughs> thank you, thank you, please, please. What do you get when you cross a frog with an elephant? You get a flat frog! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you very much! Thank you! You see, Fuzzy, it's simple. And now, the nursery room is proud to introduce a foot and a half of fuzz-covered fun, Fuzzy Bear! Yay! You think I'm ready? Sure, go on! Remember, Fuzzy, it's all in the words. Don't worry. I got it now. Uh, uh, what do you get when you put chocolate pudding in your mother's shoes? Give up? You get a spanking. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Yeah. Hey. Oh. I thought it was funny. Sorry, Fuzzy. I guess I let you down. It wasn't your fault, Kermit. My joke just wasn't funny. That's because the true secret to comedy is craziness. Then you must be the funniest weirdo in the world, Gonzo. Be nice to me, Piggy, or I'll tell everybody where you hide your chocolate bonbons. Okay, okay. Now, as I was saying, the secret to being funny is being weird. You know, like Steve Martin. I see the people in the audience with the... Amateur model arrow through the head. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, Fuzzy. After I give you some weird lessons, you'll have the audience rolling in the aisles. The first thing you need is a weird prop. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, it's working already. Wait till you see this. This is what we in the weird business call Weirdsville. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> it doesn't look funny to me. Did you hear that, fellas? He doesn't think we're funny. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I don't get it. It's simple, Fuzzy. What makes something funny is when it's unexpected. Like this. <laughs> Go ahead, Fuzzy, you try. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Imagination is dangerous. I'm getting out of here. Gonzo's too weird for me. I have not yet begun to weird. And you're not going to. I'll never find out what funny is. Me, no. Animo, what do you know about being funny? Funny is fun. <laughs>
can't even trip right. I'm just not cut out to be a comedian. All I wanted to do is make people laugh. I guess I am a failure. Gee, what are you doing, Fuzzy? I'm throwing away my joke books and all of my joke stuff. You guys have been right all along. I'm just not funny. I'm giving up comedy for good. <laughs> Messages. I know a boy, his name is Zack. He loves to fit, he loves to stack. Yes, construction is his knack. He's Zack, the Lego maniac. He builds in the window, he's off the wall. He builds them big, he builds them small. In Lego land, he'll rock and roll. He's Lego wild, out of control. Zack, Zack, he's a Lego maniac. Legoland King's Castle Airport Cosmic Fleet Voyager sold separately from Lego Systems. I got a hair pop! Corn pop popping, popping in my head like popcorn popping and popping in my head. Corn pop popping, it's all I think about. Pop pop popping, they keep popping in my head. Corn pop popping, gotta get a taste, I can't stop popping. Corn pop popping, popping in my head. Kellogg's Corn Pops. You can't stop thinking about that sweet popcorn taste. Part of this complete breakfast. Corn Pops popping, popping in my head. Ah! Walt Disney Pictures presents an all-new musical adventure, Oliver and Company. Why should I worry? It's the story of Oliver as only Disney could tell it. You may not have a it's the sounds of Billy Joel, Huey Lewis, Ruth Pointer, and Bette Midler. It's a magical musical adventure only at a theater near you. Absolutely positive. It's Walt Disney Pictures' Oliver and Company. Rated G. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. We're into hair. Lots of hair. And perfume everywhere. That's why we're so into Perfume Pretty Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie's into fragrance we can share. It comes with Barbie. She's been too long. Pretty. Fabulous hair, we're into it too. Wow, down to there, we're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie doll comes with real fragrance for you and a gown she can wear short or long. From Mattel. And now back to Muppet Baby. Yeah! I'm tired of trying to be funny. I know how you feel, Fuzzy. It's kind of like playing a song and nobody taps their feet. Yeah. Oh, don't give up, Fuzzy. If I hadn't given you an F, you would still want to be funny. It's not your fault, Piggy. After a thousand tomatoes in the face, I can take a hint. But making people laugh always meant so much to you, Fuzzy. Are you sure you want to give that up? Uh-huh. I'm going to be the most unfunny thing I can be. Maybe I could sell books. That sounds pretty unfunny. Who is it? Uh, door-to-door -door sales bear. Oh, come right in. Okay. Fuzzy! I met through the regular door. Oh, I, I knew that. Good afternoon, miss. My name is Fozzie Bear, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in buying a new 3D holographic stereo encyclopedia. They're not funny, are they? Oh, no. They're not funny at all. Here, I'll show you. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm new at this. Oh, volume E. You'll love this one. Here's a section on earthquakes. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Whew. That was close. What section is that? Electricity. Yeah! Dive. Maybe volume O is safer. No! Not that page. That's the ocean. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Here it is. Wow! I said maybe, not all 
oranges. Well, they're naval oranges. I was close. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a section on jokes. Jet planes, jokes. Wow. There's nothing worse than a wise guy encyclopedia. Gosh, what volume is that? Ooh, it's K for Kermit. Oh, uh, I don't think you were cut out to be a sales bear, Fuzzy. Really? I thought I was getting close to a sale. Come to think of it, I'm not very close to anything. Oh, let's go back to the nursery. How do we get back? Check in volume D. Oh, D for drain. I can't tell jokes. I can't sell books. What good am I? What kind of attitude is that, Fozzie? You've got to be good for something. I guess I could always be a bear rug. Nah, you're too lumpy. I know what you can be, Fozzie. Don't you get it? Oh, yeah. I could be a metronome. No. You like standing up in front of people. You could be a singer. I could? Sure you could, Fuzzy. Yeah, go on, give it a try. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Yeah! I can see it all now. As I walk out on stage, the audience cheers. I'm the latest rage. I grab my guitar and I'm ready to play. And then I reach for the microphone and here's what I say. Waka, waka, waka. Famous bear. Oh, they chase me around for a lock of my hair. My video's out and my album too. And here's what I say on my interview. Waka waka waka. Here he goes again. Waka waka waka. I guess I'm just a funny guy. Okay, how's this? What's the difference between a potato? Nobody's home. <laughs> yeah. Waka waka waka. Is he for real? Waka waka waka. I can't figure it out. He's a waka waka waka. Now we don't know why. Waka waka. I can't help it. I'm a natural. Some bears got it. Some don't. I'm pretty funny, huh? Gosh, I guess I'm not very good at singing either. It's no use. I'm not funny. I can't sell. I can't sing. I'm just a dumb bear. You're not dumb, Fuzzy. I'm not? No way. In fact, with a little bit of study, I'll bet you could be a great scientist. You think so, huh? Imagine, Fuzzy Einstein. <laughs> Are you sure I'm scientist material, Professor Scooter? Positive. Why, with a little luck, you could discover the theory of relativity. Relativity? Wait a minute. I think I got it. Of course. I'm a bear, and bears are related to dogs. Therefore, Rolf and I are relatives. I've just discovered relativity. No, not quite, Fozzie. Relativity means that something is big only when you compare it to something else that's smaller. You know, it's all relative. Oh, you mean like, relative to a peanut, I got a real big brain. Uh, something like that. This science stuff is fun. I think I'll invent anti-gravity chewing gum. You might be a great scientist, Fozzy, but nobody can invent anti-gravity chewing gum. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, you did it! You're a genius, Fozzie! Gosh, I am, aren't I? Uh, I could invent anything. Uh, maybe even a joke formula. I've done it! Instant funny! Huh? Huh? Well. Uh. Instant 
tomato soup is more like it. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'll never be a scientist. The only formula I ever discovered was baby formula. I know how you feel, Fuzzy. I felt awful when I realized I'd never be what I wanted to be. What did you want to be, Gonzo? Uh, I wanted to be green, so Vicky would like me better. Oh, yuck! Beat it, Bugsy! <laughs> Fuzzy, be happy! Thanks, Animal, but I don't want to take your toys. Toys make happy? Really? Maybe Animal's right. Maybe I need toys. Maybe if I made millions of dollars, I could buy myself happiness. Whew. It sure is hot in Texas. Hey, Kermit, wait up. Huh? Uh, do I know you? Of course you do. It's me, J.R. Fozzy. J.R. Fozzy? Gee, I haven't seen you since you left the nursery to become a billionaire. Yeah, I'm a big oil rancher now, rolling in dough. How about you, Kermit? Did you make a lot of the green stuff? Nope, the only green I got is my skin. But it's mine, and I'm happy. Uh, oh, well, so am I. I got everything I could possibly want. Well, then, uh, I guess you don't need me. Wait! Don't you want to see my oil ranch? Well... You're really gonna like it. Okay. I've got a thousand cows. They put out 10,000 barrels of oil a day. Wow! And wait till you see this. I got my own airstrip. And my own private leg. Yes, sir. There isn't anything in the world I can't buy. You must be real happy. Now that you mention it, I'm miserable. I don't understand it, Kermit. I got cars, boats, planes, everything. How come I'm not happy? Mm, I don't know, Fuzzy. When was the last time you felt happy? It was back in the nursery when I used to tell uh, jokes. <laughs> uh, I'm not crying. I just had some joke. Uh, smoke in my eye. <laughs> it just isn't the same anymore without Fozzie telling his jokes. I know what you mean, Kermit. I never laughed on the outside, but when Fozzie was happy, I always had a smile on the inside. Come on, let's tell him. Um, there's something we want to tell you, Fozzie. Don't worry. I'll never tell another joke again. You don't understand, Fozzie. We want you to tell jokes. You do? But I thought you said they were awful, Piggy. I did. But she never told you to give up your dream. That's right, Fozzie. You mean I can tell jokes again? Sure, Fozzie. Go ahead. We love to hate your jokes. Oh, boy. Did I tell you the one about the man with the light bulb in his nose? Uh -huh. <laughs> He was light-headed! Waka waka waka! What do you call a zebra with no stripes? A horse. A horse! <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I can do worse than that! How about this one? What do you call a yo-yo that goes down but won't come up? A yo! Whoa! <laughs> mm. Yum! Tomato! Waka waka waka! Skeeter. Just wait, Scooter. I'm not finished yet. Besides, your picture of Kermit looks like a monkey painted it. 
<laughs> Monkey, Skeeter, my painting is art. Art? Who's he? I thought you painted Kermit. Get it? Art? Kermit? Ozzy? <laughs> Anybody got another piece of paper? Sure, Rolf. Why, did you make a mistake? No, I just need some more paper to draw Gonzo's nose. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> I don't think we have that much paper. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kids. How are the paintings coming? Great, Mary. Come look at my beautiful picture of Rolf, Nanny. That's very nice, Piggy. It looks more like a bird than Rolf. I know, but I think birds are much prettier than dogs, don't you? Well, I... Looky, looky. What's this animal? That's not pretty animal. Those are just blobs of paint. Oh, dear. Hey, 
love me. Somehow, the ugly duckling just didn't fit in with the others. Kids, where's your brother? Here comes that weirdo now. Roll, roll, roll your duck. Look at him. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> I need stuff in this book. I know. It's my favorite. Which story are you looking at, Kermit? Beauty and the Beast. Ooh, I love that one. Tell it to us, Kermit. Yeah, yeah tell, tell it. it well, uh, okay. Uh, once upon a time, there was a woodsman who returned home after a very long journey. The woodsman couldn't wait to see his lovely wife and three pretty daughters. Hello, everybody. I'm home. Hello, husband. Hello, father. Hey, daddy-o. Oh, gee, do I have to be a daughter? Ow! Oh, okay. Hi, Dad. How was your journey, dear husband? 
Um, not so good. I got lost and was rescued by this beast. Beast? Yeah, and in return for his kindness, he made me promise to send him my most beautiful daughter to keep him company. This doesn't look too good for me, does it? So the woodsman's daughter, whose name was Beauty, set out to fulfill her father's promise. Singing slightly off key, she arrived at the entrance of the beast cave, deep in the enchanted forest. This is it? You've got to be kidding. I'm not going in there. Come on, Piggy. It's part of the story. Oh, okay. Hello? Anybody home? No? Too bad. Oh. You're ruining the story, Piggy. I don't care. I'm not going into that dark, icky cave just to meet some ugly old beast. charm with your name on it, free with two proofs of purchase. Are you into the books or a bit of a clown? A Broadway baby or just hanging around? What kind of Campbell kid are you? Are you into the stars or oh, 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 for you? A letter man or a curly Q? Campbell soup got um, um, good. What kind of Campbell Creators of an American tale invite you to spend the holidays with Spike, Sarah, <laughs> Petri, <laughs> Ducky, yep, yep, yep. and Littlefoot as they share the world's first adventure, an adventure in the land of the dinosaurs. Do not stop! We must stay together! George Lucas and Steven Spielberg present a Don Bluth film, The Land Before Time, rated G. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Now this game is... Now this... Now... This game is dynamite. You make your roll, build your bridges, and send your man across. But watch out for the other guy. He can blow your bridges to smithereens and blow you back to start. <laughs> now this game is... The Dynamite Game. New from Parker Brothers. And now, back to Muppet Baby.
sweet personality. And the beast said, look a little bit closer. Dig a little bit deeper. There's more to see than just the outside of me. Or that giant guy made by Dr. Frankenstein. He's great. Misunderstood by their neighborhood. Their hearts were good and kind. Wow, what did they say? Look a little bit closer. Dig a little bit deeper. There's more to see than just the outside of me. So don't change the outside. Okay. Let the inside show. I'm beautiful. Let everybody know. any man that he dare ask for you. Here I know. Is that you? I can see you. You need no eyes to hear my heart. Oh, how pretty. I don't know what it means, but it's beautiful. When I think of you, I tremble. And the bell swings and rings. Piggy, piggy. My baby. So bad yourself. Well, uh, us big noses have to stick together, you know. Yes. So? So? How's about giving someone else a little chance? All right. Do your stuff. Thanks. Cyrano? Cyrano? Where are you? Right here, my sweet. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. I like my big nose, and you like it too. Ready to move a little closer to her. 
Whatever you say. <laughs> Reach out your hand. Okay. <laughs> Gonzo looks like a monkey. Monkey? All right, now you're talking. <laughs> uh, that's good, that's okay, that's okay. <sighs> Like a tinkling piano. And that she's as funny as a rubber chicken. And her eyes are like two computer screens. Huh? Uh, uh, your eyes are like chickens and your voice is a tinkling computer fool. <laughs> oh, brother. Hello, there comes one moment. There comes one moment. When beauty stands. When beauty stands by. Part three, part three. Proceed to the corner of Fifth and Main. Confirm. Uh, proceed to Main. Confirm. Tell her you like her shoes. Tell her you like her nose. Tell her she's cool. Tell her she's... Buddy is a fruitcake. Tell her she's adorable. Tell her she smells good. Tell her she's won the lottery. Oh, good. idea to look very closely before you decide if you like something or not. That's a good idea, Nanny. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah, good idea. Good idea, Nanny. Good idea. Oh, personally, I think it's a great idea. What do you think? I think it's a fantastic idea. <laughs> I think it's great. Huh? I think it's silly of you. What an idea. And I was there. I saw it happen. He took the idea. He saw it ripe on the tree. He plucked it, and he put it in his pocket. It's, it's, dare I say, genius? <laughs> no, no, but maybe, ooh, maybe it is. Maybe I'm in the presence of greatness. Maybe I just don't know it, but I saw it. And now, these messages. Honeycomb, hide out. Let me out. <laughs> I've come to grant your wish. More honey and the big taste of honeycomb. More honey, more honey, more honey. Honeycomb big, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. Honeycomb's got a big honey taste. Big, big crunch for a big, big bite. Honeycomb cereal, a honey sweet part of this complete breakfast. Honeycomb's a big, big bite.
trail of the Frutosaurus. Look at the size of these tracks. The legendary dinosaur that lived on Sunkist Fun Foods. We're getting close. I can smell it. <laughs> and taste pleasing part of a nutritious breakfast. Maple brown sugar, peaches and cream, apples and cinnamon are giving up steam. Eleven snifferific, taste terrific flavors. Sniff, 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 Our mission is clear. You finally buy a chip Ahoy cookie without biting a chip. Let's try the northern approach. Impossible. What about the southern route? No way. Nope. Our only chance is right here. Synchronized cookies. Bite. Um, well, the feet never tasted so sweet. Chips Ahoy cookies. Bet you bite a chip. Hey, want to try again tomorrow? You bet. entered the hiding place full of treasure and stuff taken by the thieves. <clears throat> I said, Alibaba entered the hiding place. Fuzzy, that's your cue. It is, but I'm not Alibaba. I'm Fuzzy Baba. And I'm Baby Baba. Baba, you're not a lamb. You're a teddy bear. Get it? <laughs> Sheesh. So Fuzzy Baba and his faithful sidekick, Baby Baba, um, right, entered the room and looked at all the neat stuff. Yeah, I... oh, Have a nice trip. Waka waka. Whoa. <laughs> wow, look at this. Now, look at these. Must be a zillion carrots. Uh-huh. Here's the carrots. Waka waka waka. Waka waka. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We gotta get on with the story. Really? How come? Um, it's not how come, Fuzzy. It's who come. See? Huh? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Teddy. Teddy? Wait a minute. I want a souvenir. Come on, Teddy. Hey, wow! And so... The two babas in bathrobes ran from the 40 feet. Woo, animal! Okay. Oh, oh, Kermit, did you say 40 feet? There's only four of us. Huh? And we're not thieves. But yeah, Nanny gave us this stuff, remember? Sheesh. How'd you like it if we called you a crook? Hold it! Here, you be the storyteller, Rolf. Now I'll be a thief. Or whatever. Okay. So, um, where are we? The Baba brothers are running away. Remember? Huh? Oh, come on, Teddy. Right. They're running away. <laughs> but the 40, uh, I mean, four thieves are gaining on them. Oh, come on. So Fozzie and Baby Baba ran as fast as they could right to the entrance of their secret cave. <laughs> which was closed. So they quickly said the magic words that would open the door. Magic words? Oh, yeah. Um, how did that go again? Um, open poppy seed? Um, uh, open centipede? Uh, open sesame? Open sesame street? Here, try this, Fozzy. What is it? An automatic door opener. Just press the button. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go. What a mess. Uh-oh. My goodness. What happened 
in here? Someone filled my secret cave with junk, Nanny. They did? Uh-huh. And when I opened the door, it all fell out. Didn't any of you help make this mess? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Not me, Nanny. I take real good care of my things. Oh, really? Then whose is this, Piggy? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's not Piggy's fault, Nanny. Or any of us. It was, uh... Gonzo, closet trolls? Uh-huh. They sneak around when no one's looking and, and mess up closets just to get kids like us in trouble with their nannies. Uh-huh. My goodness. Well, maybe you kids will run into them while you're cleaning up this mess. Then you can ask them to help you.
Gee. Got it. Gee, Gonzo, what's all this stuff for anyway? I'm going on a troll trip. Huh? Trolls. The final frontier. My mission? To boldly go where only trolls have gone before. And bring them back to clean up this mess. Do, 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 do. I'm starting to worry about him. Don't worry about me, Kermit. I know exactly what I'm doing. What? Uh, it's most of the time. Anything else you need, Gonzo? Ah, uh, well, I can always use a good set of pickup sticks. Okay. Hey, what happened to all the pickup sticks? They do? Sure. Not only do trolls mess up closets, but they're always stealing pieces of your favorite games and puzzles. Not to mention socks. Really? Yeah. If something is missing, you can bet a troll took it. Gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, Scooter. I'll find those missing pieces. <laughs> Sometimes I think Gonzo's missing a few pieces himself. <laughs> Are you in here? What's the matter, Fozzie? Did I forget something? No, I just can't find my teddy bear anywhere. Aw, oh, sorry, Fozzie, but I bet the trolls got him. <gasps> oh, no, not them, not them. The who? You know, the closet trolls. Yeah? Teddy bears are their most favorite thing. Oh, no. What'll I do? Come with me, Fuzzy. We'll find those trolls and rescue Teddy if it's the last thing we do. G -g Gosh, you mean Teddy is down there? Yep. Put your nose and hold on to your hat, because down this hole is where he's at. <laughs> Maybe I'll just meet you later, Gonzo. What? What? Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Yeah! Rosie, you're not speaking to me today? No. Oh, oh, you're still mad at me because I wouldn't let you have Mommy's Kellogg's cornflakes? Don't yell at me, Rosie. Oh, all right. If you love them that much, you can have them. Kellogg's cornflakes is part of this nutritious breakfast. Since I got my mini camera, the weirdest things are happening. See? Free mini camera when you mail in two proofs of purchase from Kellogg's Cornflakes. That's not a real camera, is it, son? Introducing Teddy Grahams. We just wanna eat tasty Teddy Grahams. Just a bunch of bite-sized bears. The fun to eat. Oh man, oh let them be. Yo, Teddy Grahams. New lightly sweet, great to eat Graham snacks. Exploding with taste in honey, cinnamon, and chocolate. Just want to eat those teddy grams. We're into great hairstyles. It's the hottest look. That's why we're into Style Magic Barbie. Only Style Magic Barbie has wonder curl hair that curls a whole new way. We do styles that really stay. She's into pretty ruffles that look great in her hair. We're into it too. Style Magic Barbie doll and friends have new Wonder Curl hair. Dolls each sold separately, new from Mattel. Look, Toucan. <laughs> Would have made the shot if I hadn't practiced through breakfast. Ah, then fruit flavor should be your aim. Follow my nose. It's a fast break. Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavor. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. Have some. Oh, boy, it's a slam dunk. Hi, 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 kids! Now you can amaze your friends with these vanishing dinosaurs! Watch! Gone in three seconds! Where'd he go? Vanishing paper dinosaurs, free and Fruit Loops, they're out of sight! Saturday Rocks! Oh, yeah! On CBS! Stay tuned for Pee Wee's Playhouse, <laughs> followed by Garfield and Friends! Hey, Ted.
ready. I'll do it for you. Here I go. Yeah! <laughs> Gonzo? Where are you? Huh? This is no time to take a nap, Gonzo. We gotta find Teddy. <sighs> Troll mine, Gonzo? 
Have I ever steered you wrong? Well, there was the time you... Don't answer that! Come on! Gee, it's kind of creepy in here. Yes? Is that night? Thank you. Um, did you sneeze, Gonzo? Uh-uh, didn't you? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Hi, Kermit. I should have known. Kermit! Gee, I, I didn't recognize you with the mustache. Nice touch. Thanks. I can like you too, but it tickles my nose. Achoo! Gesundheit! We're looking for my missing bracelet. We're looking for my teddy. He's been bear-napped. Bear-napped? Uh-huh, by the closet trolls. And Big Boss collects teddies like bugs. Come look at this, Piggy. What is it, Kermy? Look. <gasps> See? I told you I didn't make it up. Hurry up. Get this stuff loaded. some of these old toys away in boxes. And we were helping. Yeah, that's right. But fuzzy has been looking for his teddy bear everywhere. And you had it all the time. Yeah. Gosh, I'm sorry, Fozzy. We didn't know you were looking for him. Did we, guys? No. Uh-uh. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Isn't it, Teddy? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Piggy, maybe Ross saw your bracelet, too. Sorry, Piggy. I didn't see any bracelets. Oh. <gasps> hey, guys. It's almost lunchtime. Nanny will be here any minute. Oh, no. We'll never get this place cleaned up in time. <gasps> <gasps> it's Nanny. My goodness. Just look at this place. We're in for it now. Why, it's beautiful. Yes. Uh-huh. You kids did a wonderful job. Wow. 
We were having so much fun playing, we didn't even know we were done, Nanny. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you kids did such a great job. I'm going to fix you each your favorite sandwich for lunch. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Peanut butter, salami, and soy sauce. <laughs> boy, lunch would sure taste better if I found my bracelet. Gee, I know how you feel, Piggy. You want to hold Teddy for a while? Uh, well, that's nice, Fozzie, but... He's a little heavy for my wrist. Oh, yeah. Hey, maybe you could wear him as a necklace. <laughs> well, um... Oh, Bozzy! My bracelet! You found it! <laughs> oh, I didn't find it. Teddy did. So, maybe Teddy should get the kiss. Really? Uh-huh. Well, okay. There. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, kids. Lunch time. Oh, 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 Funny puzzle. And <laughs> hey, come back here with that. What? Hey, cut it out, you guys. Give me that back. <laughs> Go see. I'm going to pieces here. Oh, no. Now what do I do? Bravo. Go bye-bye. But don't you go bye-bye. Because we'll be right back. Muppet Baby will return after these messages. You how Curtis Bennett eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. I like my Reese's with milk. How Scotty Henry's brother Roger eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. This is my kid brother. He loves his Reese's, as you can see. But, well, he eats it real weird. How do you do that, Raj? There's no wrong way. It's good. To eat a Reese's. What's up, Professor? Today, my class will crunch into Cocoa Puffs, the chocolatey crunchy part of this complete breakfast. We'll measure the chocolate crunch on this crunchometer. Hit it, kids. Let's crunch! We're good for Cocoa Puffs! Mm, love those big, crunchy, chocolatey puffs. That's what happens with crunchy, delicious Cocoa Puffs, the big chocolatey puffs that go... No! Muppet Babies will return. Here on CBS! Yeah! This is CBS. We got a dummy wheel! Mind we pop in? The good time, great taste of McDonald's. What on earth could make a Happy Meal even happier? A Mac Tonight motorcycle, surf ski, or Jeep vehicle. Fly over to McDonald's now and get one Mac Tonight travel toy inside every Happy Meal. Collect all six. Pause for Cause. Weekdays at 5. And now back to Mom and Baby. has set our coordinates for the nearest star base, where the Klingons will stand trial. We should arrive there in exactly 1.732... Keep it, Mr. Weirdo. I'm sure we'll get there soon enough. <laughs> oh, Captain Kirkman, could I speak to you privately? Be careful, Captain. Stop! 
Daddy Klingons are very dangerous. Captain Kirkman, do I look dangerous? Well, um, no, not exactly. But whatever you have to say can be said in front of the whole crew. Very well. How about we ditch these guys, grab some lunar pizza, maybe take in a movie at the local Galaxy 6? I, uh... I'm afraid that's against Federation rules. Throw in a kisser, Rudy, for your Vulcan dreamboat here, and uh, you got yourself a date. What? I'm warning you, weirdo. Don't come any closer, or you're gonna get a shock. Nothing you do could ever shock me, my little Klingon cauliflower. <laughs> However, that came close. Real? Oh. Hey! I can't see. Whoa! What's happening, Dr. Dog Bones? Well, Captain Kirkman, I'd say Mr. Weirdo there has a bad case of... <laughs> Static cling. Huh? You know, like socks in the dryer. Everything clings to them. Hey, you Starfleet guys really stick together. Ozzy, <laughs> stop fooling around. Get a tickle face and guard them. Uh, yes, sir, Commander, sir. Uh, Ma'am, uh, Sam... And as for you, Mr. Vulcan Dreamboat, set course for the planet Klingon and make it snappy. Anything you say, my Klingon cutie pie. I mean, your clinginess. Whoops! Hey, what's your feet? I can't see them. Uh, let's see. A uh, course for Klingon. Let it be in six, seven, point. Nine, 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 two, and oh, eight, two, 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 point, seven, one, five. Got it. Now, Captain Kirkman, let me tell you what I have in store for you. For me? Um, well... A little Klingon wedding. Nothing fancy. A couple of thousand quick flag bridesmaids. A few million very special guests from all over the universe. Uh, don't you think this is a little sudden, Commander? Maybe, but I've been dreaming of it for months. Ever since I first saw your picture in Space People magazine. I see. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? Is anybody else in here hot? Yeah. I'll say. Look. Ooh. I never knew Klingon was such a bright planet. That's not Klingon, you Vulcan vaporhead. That's the sun. The, the sun? sun? Whoops. Maybe that was supposed to be N67.9991 instead of N67. What? Yucking a turn this thing around! We could rub cheese all over ourselves and pretend we're a tuna mouth. Fuzzy! What? What's that? My automatic sprinkling system. It kicks in at 2,000 degrees. <laughs> Thanks, animal. Welcome. <laughs> if we're not in the spaceship anymore, then how come it's still so hot? Yeah, how come? Maybe the nursery is broken off from the house and turned into a real spaceship. Huh? huh? What if Guys is right and we're about to crash into the sun? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, we'll burn up and disintegrate before we ever get that far. Huh? Well, there's one sure way to find out. Open the door. This is silly. Come here, open the door. Huh? Why me? Because you're brave and strong and you're my hero. But, uh... Please! Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> Kids! Kids! Nanny! How Nanny! Oh, what a relief! Wow, Nanny, you really surprised us. I didn't mean to, Rolf. I just wanted to tell you that we're having a heat wave. And wouldn't you know it, the air conditioner broke down. Heat brain? You mean we're not going to crash into the sun? No, of course not, Piggy. Whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> well, nitwit. 
Now, you kids take it easy until the air conditioner's fixed. I'll make some lemonade for you later, okay? Okay, Nappy. Nanny said to take it easy, so let's play checkers. Okay, but what if we get bored? Get it? Checkers? Bored? Waka waka. Foggy! And what are you doing, Scooter? I'm playing Charlie. Charlie? Uh-huh. It reminded me of a movie I watched once with Nanny called The African Queen. There was this guy in it named Charlie, see? Did you say movie about a queen? You couldn't have a movie about a queen without Maul, could you? Well, uh, come to think of it, there was a lady in the picture, too. Oh, Penny! I'll be right back! I'm ready! Who are you supposed to be? The African Queen, of course. Uh, Piggy. And I'll be waited on. I'm my devoted servant. But Piggy. And they'll keep me nice and cool. You can eat the fun. Ten is for monkey. There's a monkey in my alphabet. How does it taste? <laughs> <laughs> alphabet cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can eat the fun. You can get a monkey in your alphabet. <laughs> or you can get a duck in your alphabet. <laughs> One cartoon character free in specially marked boxes of post alphabet cereal. You can collect all six. Ronald McDonald and the Chicken McNuggets and Baby Talk. This reminds me of when you guys were babies. Tell us about it, Ronald. Yeah! I remember when you took your first step. Watch that first step! When you learned to read. Oh! Your first birthday. Your first word. <laughs> and your first dip. Barbecue sauce! Now you're all grown up. Right! But don't forget the nightlight. The two-sized great tits of McDonald's. 
All right, Keebler, hand it over. Your leprechauns. Right. Tis the end of the rainbow, and we'll be taking our pot of gold. How about something more exciting? New Rainbow Chips Deluxe. <laughs> and what might they be now? Keebler Chips Deluxe Cookies, topped with candy-coated chocolate pieces. Rainbow colored by us elves. Mm, tis no blarney. They are better than gold. <laughs> Leave it to the little people. Who are you calling little? Rainbow Chips Deluxe, new from the Keebler Elves. This trip's a breeze thanks to my super golden crisp cereal, riding high with ten vitamins and minerals, and the honey sweet part of this nutritious breakfast. Breakfast? Something shady going on here. Yeah, and my big digs your honey sweet wheat, sugar bear. Dig this, bird brain. All you're getting's a vitamin pack punch. It looks like this turkey's goose is cooked. Can't get enough of Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. And now back to Mother Baby. Yeah! Why, I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. And you, Charlie? <laughs>
those weird sounds. Oh! 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 That's not funny, Tysana. <laughs> and stop making that noise, will you? That's not Tarzana. That blue-nosed howler monkey. What? Howler monkey always howl when cooling off in secret grotto. See ya. <laughs> Did she say cool off? Charlie, let's go find that secret grotto. Your wish is my command, miss. What? Oh, brother. Oh, we're running into some thick fog, miss. Yeah, I can't see a thing. But that howler must be around here somewhere. Let's cut the engine so we don't scare the little guy. Do you see anything yet, Charlie? No, not yet. Wait, I think I see... <laughs> something. Oh, hi, Piggy. Hi, Scooter. You sounded like a howler, Monkey Gonzo. Who, me? Yes, you, silly. Is this how you cool off with steam? Oh, well, I, uh, <laughs> I think I turned on the hot water by mistake. Anyway, I was just getting ready to go to a real cool place. You want to go? Sounds good to me. Oh, uh, I don't know, Scooter. Are we going to listen to a guy that howls like a monkey? Oh, come on. What have you got to lose? Only my mind, I guess. Great. <laughs> Doghouse cool. Oh! Tarzana wants lemonade! Coming right up. Four lemonades! Me bring, me bring. Great! Thanks! Mm. Wow! This place is really neat! Neat. That rhymes with heat. And that spells cool. Blue knows my man. Pull up a stool. We're no rule!
Snappers faces. Chocolate, peanut butter, satisfaction. Like a crispy cookie, let you stay in the action. Won't slow you down. When you gotta get around, Twix lets you show. Try no home. Keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Great cereal, Frankenberry. Frankly, it's very good. Our visitor, perhaps he'd like a monster for breakfast today. Mm. The real Frankenstein! This monster's not on the menu! But Frankenberry cereal is... <laughs> Strawberry-flavored marshmallows? <laughs> it's part of this complete breakfast. Good. I want a monster for breakfast today. For real? And now, back to the Muppet Babies. Yeah! Hey, guys! It's Elev! 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 Looks like the clock hypnotized Gonzo again. Gonzo, oh... Uh... Me fix! Me fix! <laughs> Welcome. Gosh, a whole hour till lunch. Oh, I can't wait. Me neither. Me neither. I know. We can sneak into the kitchen and get some food. <gasps> Shame on you, Skeeter. Nanny told us never to take snacks without asking. Oh, uh, she won't mind as long as we eat our lunch. You'll get caught for sure. Then we'll all get in trouble. Not if we do an impossible mission. Huh? Watch! What? Good morning, Mr. Scooter. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to sneak into the kitchen and get us all some snacks. As usual, should you or any of your Muppet Impossible Force be caught, I'll tell Nanny I had nothing to do with it. My nose will self-destruct in two seconds. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Scooter. We've got an impossible mission to do. Impossible mission? Sneaking snacks is big trouble, Skeeter. You're going to get caught. the wind. Something must have happened to them. It's been ten minutes. I told you they were going to get caught. Woo! We're, we're back. back. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Did you get the snacks? Yeah, I'm starving. Hungry, hungry. Relax, there's plenty for everyone. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, give it back. What? Someone around here has got to keep all of you from getting in trouble. I'm taking these snacks right back to the kitchen. Oh, sure. And just how do you expect to sneak back into the kitchen without getting caught? better than to sneak snacks between meals. But I, I wasn't sneaking snacks, Nanny. I was... Now, Piggy, don't make things worse by telling fibs. But Piggy's telling the truth, Nanny. Skeeter and I. Yes. Ow! That's kind of you to try to cover up for her, Scooter. But Piggy has to learn to take responsibility for what she does. But, Nanny... To make up for what you've done, Piggy, you'll have to clean up your mess and the rest of the kitchen, too. But... No buts. And Scooter, I want you and Skeeter to make sure Piggy does a good job. Huh? You can count on us, Nanny. Get the work, Piggy. Gosh, we ought to help Piggy. After all, we're the ones who are going to eat the snacks. No way, Ralph. Nanny said Piggy has to do it all by herself. <gasps> Mammy said, this isn't fair. Why should I have to clean up this whole mess by myself? You'd think I was Cinderella or something. Piggerella! Piggerella! Huh? Step Scooter, what are you doing? Do I have to wear this silly thing? What's wrong with it? It's a dress. That's what's wrong with it. I'm a boy, remember? So what, Scooter? In the story, Cinderella had two steps sisters. Now get in step. Okay, okay. Piggerella, aren't you finished cleaning the kitchen yet? Well, um, I'm almost done. Well, hurry up. you got to clean the chimney next. The chimney? Whoever goes in the chimney? Santa Claus! Animal, there's no Santa Claus in this story. Sorry. Pigarella? Yes, Step Nanny? You'd better have this place cleaned up before lunchtime, or no lunch for you. Yes, Step Nanny. What was that? Uh, nothing, Step Nanny. Say, I thought I had a, a fly on my tongue. Blech, blech, blech. Uh. And so, the beautiful Pigarella cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned while her Step Nanny and Step Sisters went off to play. Who is it? You never know when the big bad wolf might turn up. Door-to-door -door sales bear. Door-to-door -door sales bear? Uh-huh. I'm selling vacuum cleaners. Really? Come right in. Wow. You think you could uh, clean up this mess? Are you kidding? My new super suction vacuum cleaner can clean up anything. I'll show you. Hey. Whoa. Yeah, ow! Oh, hey, whoa! Uh. Ow! Let go! Uh. Oh, no! Uh-oh! Turn it off, you stupid sales down! Whoa! Whoa! Maybe it's defective! So 
Uh-oh. I was only trying to help. Shut it off, Barney! Uh-oh. I can't control it! Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Some news hound I am, Toucan. Not a story all morning. Really? I even miss breakfast. Your nose for news can't find a scoop. Let mine report on more flavor of fruit. More fruit flavor? Hey, that's a great lead. Then follow my nose. Follow nose. The Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Now made with more natural fruit flavoring. It's part of this complete breakfast. More natural fruit flavor? What a story. Best news I've heard all day. Another bowl then? Sure. Extra, extra. <laughs> From the world of Lady Lovely Locks comes more pixie tail magic. With silky mane. Comb her hair so long and fair. Now there's color everywhere. Wow, silky mane. Her secret is the pixie tail she wears in her beautiful hair. Doll sold separately. And here's Silky Pop, too, with more pixie tail magic. That's fun to do. <laughs> silky mane and Silky Pop from the world of Lady Lovely Locks, each sold separately. From Mattel. City News, Mr. Keebler. Can you tell us what your new sandwich cookies look like? No comment. Well, we hear they've got creamy fillings. No comment. Keebler introduces new E.L. Fudge sandwich cookies, buttery cookies with creamy fudge, chocolatey cookies with peanut butter middles, and chocolatey cookies with vanilla cream. We hear they're all delicious. They are? Oh, were you talking to the cookie? The cookie? <clears throat> no comment. New E.L. Fudge sandwich cookies from Keebler. Stay tuned for Pee Wee's Playhouse. That sounds like fun. Pee Wee! Followed by Mighty Mouse. And now back to the Muppet Babies. Pigarella, after you help us get dressed, you've got more cleaning to do. And so, Pigarella dressed her stepsisters for the ball. This is humiliating, Skeeter. I'm not wearing a dress to the party. Okay, then. You can always go without it. Huh? Okay, okay, I'll wear it. you go any faster, Pigarella? We don't want to be late for the ball. There. All done. Now can I go to the ball with you, Step Nanny? Please? I'm afraid not. You couldn't possibly go wearing rags like that. Oh, yeah. Hurry, hurry! The carriage is waiting! And so, as Step Nanny and the Step Sisters went off to the bar, Pigarella found herself all alone in the big cold house. <laughs> huh? Who are you? I'm your fairy god weirdo. What? 
morning, students. Welcome to Bunsen Honeydew's School for Fairies, Genies, and Leprechauns. Huh? Mr. Honeydew? <laughs> I've been having some trouble with my wand. <laughs> I see what you mean. I think I've got just what you need, Gonzo. See? The Astro Fairy Suit. Complete with its own 50,000 volt laser wand. Baker, show Gonzo how it works. Uh, maybe you could just fix this one, huh? Let me have a look at that. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. There you go. Try it now. <laughs> hey! Feels okay. Let's see. Now take me back to Piggy Shack. Wow! A four-speed tomato coach with power windows, mad wheels, and a dumb bear! Oh, this thing looks better than I thought. Don't forget, Pigarella, your dress will turn back into rags, your coach will turn back into a tomato, and your driver becomes a lousy comedian again at the stroke of seven. Precisely. Seven? I thought that was all supposed to happen at midnight. Don't be ridiculous. We can't stay up that late. We're just kids. Oh. Hey, how am I supposed to get this thing out of here? No problem. Thanks. Later, at the Handsome Prince Kermit's Royal Great party, eh, Prince Kermit? Yeah. If only a beautiful pig would arrive so I could fall in love with her. I know it sounds kind of silly to me, too. But don't forget this is Piggy's imagination. Get out of here, Skeeter! Hit it, Wolf! Okay! One, two, one, two, three, four! Check me out! What? I'm the girl you should see through! Wow! Look me over! How could you ever refuse? Well, I am, um... Check me out! Everywhere is a place! You are kind of cute. I'm so fine. I'm top of the line. It's just about as pretty as Jabba the Hutt. Whoa! Check me out. Check, check her out. I'm so quiet and shy. Check, check shy? Her out. Let me show you. Check, check her out. You'd better give me a try. Check, check her out. Hey, give me a chance. La di da. La di da di da.
I were? Kermit! Uh, okay, okay. Um, I was wondering, uh, beautiful Piggerella. Um, um, well... Uh, oh, dear! It's almost seven! Oh, uh, I've got to be going. Uh, let's see now. Um, will you marry me? Wait! Wait! Oh! Oh, no! Wait! And so, the handsome Prince Kermit went off to search for his adorable, sweet, lovely, beautiful... Okay, okay! I get the picture. so we can marry and live happily ever after. You want to marry a foot? No, not the foot. The person who owns the foot. I must confess, that shoe belongs to... Hey, I think I lost that shoe. I'm sure it'll fit my foot. Here. Oh, no. Wearing a dress is bad enough, but I'm not marrying any frog. Actually, that tenny belongs to... Me try. Good fit. Hey, cut it out. Animal. Give me back my shoe, you, you animal. Oh, no, look. This place is a mess again. I'll be cleaning all day. We're not being fair, guy. We all snuck the snacks and Piggy took the blame. But Nanny told us not to help her. That's because Nanny thought Piggy did it. She didn't know the truth. Ralph's right. We did it, and we're the ones who should be cleaning up this mess. Well, what are we waiting for? Huh? What are you doing? What we should have done in the first place. Oh, it's beautiful! What? I thought I told you kids that Piggy was supposed to clean up by herself. You did, Nanny. But that was because you thought Piggy snuck the snacks. And she didn't. That's right. Scooter and I were the ones who took the snacks. You did? Yeah. And the rest of us were going to eat them, Nanny. All except Piggy, that is. She knew it was wrong from the very start. Really? Uh-huh. Well, I guess I owe you an apology, Piggy. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. That's okay, Nanny. Now it's my turn to make up for my mistake. I'm going to fix all of you a wonderful fruit salad. Yeah. Oh, boy! But you don't have to make it, Nanny. Your fairy god weirdo will do it with this magic wand. Presto! <laughs> oh, Gonzo. I always knew I was a little fruitcake. Didn't you? <laughs> and now, these messages. Three minutes, Mr. Herman. Watch me prick Fred out of his new Cocoa Pebble cereal with more cocoa. It's Super Cocoa Man! How you doing? Not so super. Need more cocoa to save the day. Try my new more chocolatey Cocoa Pebbles. Mmm. How's it taste? Super Cocoa Marsily Coco-licious. Oh, oh, and... Uh-oh. Barney! Time to save more than the day. New Post Cocoa Pebbles with more cocoa. Part of a nutritious breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious. Here's the Barbie Tropical Pool and Patio for Tropical Barbie and Nico Dolls. We girls love to swim all day. Right, Barbie? Tropical Pool and Patio. Pool games, hours of fun. A snack attack. Then lounge in the sun. This pool is paradise. We girls can do anything. Right, Barbie? The 
fabulous Barbie tropical pool and patio. Your parents put it together. Dolls sold separately. For Mattel. It's a whole lot of fun that comes in a row. A lot of savings care that they'll walk with a hole. Cherry lemon, every flavor is a thrill. It's the only result to get you the green one wheel. It's a whole lot of fun. It's a life savers. Oh, 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 who's that twister? Who's that cruncher? A liquor, a dunker, a creamy middle muncher. Oreo, what's your Oreo action? action? 